So we have breaking news that GoFundMe has seized over $9 million from the Freedom Convoy in Canada. That's the working class people. That's your hard-earned money that you wanted to go to the Freedom Convoy for these heroes to speak for you on your behalf. They've taken all that money and seized it. They deleted the GoFundMe page. And this is all at the request of Justin Trudeau and the city officials in Ottawa. Blatantly treasonous. And this is like something that would happen in a third world country or, or like a like a like a fascist country, right? Maybe in China or something. So GoFundMe, the corporation, by the way, it's it's an American corporation in Silicon Valley. So this is like this is not election interference, but this is foreign intervention in Canada with the Silicon Valley extremists, right? The leftists uh, colluding with the dictatorial government of, of, of Ottawa and in Canada with Trudeau to take the funds and seize all the money of the opposition group. Uh, it's absolutely horrific what's going on, and it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy, and... Um, right now we do have a solution and I'm going to get to that in a second. I just, I don't even know what to say about this. They're taking $9 million from, from the fund and they're giving it to quote unquote verified charities of their choosing, of their choosing, of GoFundMe's choosing. They're taking your money and giving it to groups like Planned Parenthood and Black Lives Matter and stuff. Uh, most likely they haven't listed what groups they're going to give it to, but you know, it's all going to be verified pro-establishment Charities and funds and stuff like that. They're, they're going to give it to instead. I just can't even believe this. So do not worry. Do not fret. There's a few things to talk about here. First of all, why did they do this? Now I'm going to get to what the solution is. We, we do have uh, give, send, go link. I'll get to that in a second. Why are they claiming did they do this? So according to GoFundMe, they're saying that this is basically an unlawful protest that obviously Trudeau and the police and authorities in Ottawa have uh, reached out to them and claim that the protesters, the Freedom Convoy is full of violent, racist, extremists. Total lie. Total lie. 100% lie. Anybody can go to any video or live stream or article on people with people on the ground in these freedom convoys. It's the most peace, love, like uh, pro Canadian uh, of every race, creed, and color. Uh, you know, there, there's there's natives going there and all of this. And can it, it is not racist. This is crazy. This is absolutely not even close. It's a blatant one hundred percent lie. Um, and they were even censoring like streams of the Freedom Convoy uh, because it was it it was showing how peaceful and community oriented and positive the movement was. But neither here nor there, uh, they're calling it an occupation, and according according to GoFundMe, it, it violates Section Eight, which of their terms and conditions, which prohibits the promotion of violence and harassment. It's just not true, right? There's no proof of this. This is a propaganda lie. It's something that like, you know, you would read about how the Soviets would make things up about their enemies, right? Back in uh, Soviet Russia or how the Nazis would make things up about their enemies just to, as a pretext to just uh, demonize them. This is, uh, this is like a fascist, we're, we're really like a fascist dictatorship. Like, in Canada, they are. I'm in America, but still. Okay? So there is a uh, GoFundMe. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> a replacement for GoFundMe. It's called Give, Send, Go. Now, I will leave the link, but as you can see from this uh, screen, it's garnering uh, so much support. I'll try to refresh it. It's getting so much support so fast. It's a give, send, go link. It's similar to GoFundMe. Um, I'm going to leave the link, but it, 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 it shut down the servers. So keep trying. 
they raised a hundred thousand dollars already at the new link for give send go uh and and it crashed the website because people were donating so fast so a hundred thousand dollars was raised on this other website now that we have and it was in a matter of like an hour but just keep trying. Uh, right now, it's not working for me. You can see error 502 because so many people are trying to give more money now at this new uh, link. It, 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 it's just overwhelming their servers. They're not used to this much traffic at Give, Send, Go. So we're going to we're gonna just keep trying, right? Uh, try later tonight or tomorrow or the next day. You know, oh, wait, oh, wait, look. It just, it just, um, it just literally reloaded. You can see here. It, it's working now. So uh, it might not work though when you click on it by the time this video is up. Um, but you can give money. Look at this. So already $160,000. $160,000 in, in a matter of a couple hours. We'll get it right back up to nine, 10 million. We don't care. We don't care. Of course, in my previous video, I talked about how Ottawa city officials were threatening to sue GoFundMe. They'll probably do the same thing to give, send, go, but give, send, go has to hold their ground and we need to continue to contribute. And look, if you're there on the ground in Ottawa, don't fret. If you're there on the ground in Coots, if you're there anywhere at one of these trucker rallies, we're gonna we're gonna, you, we're gonna take care of ya. Don't you worry. We got money coming. Worst come to worst, we'll go to we'll we'll, we'll get a crypto fund going, a, a DAO or something, and they can't stop crypto. So there there's oh, I mean this will get taken care of. We you have so much support uh, here in the U.S., uh, up there in Canada, across the world, and we will get the money. We will f make sure everybody's fed, and I'm sure they all know that anyway, right? Y everyone, we, we're all in this together. This is not going to get us down. Right now, we got give, send, go, so that's what we're going with for now. Uh, this is all, this is brand new, right? A couple hours old, already hundred sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> I gotta I gotta give too. Right when I'm done making this uh, this show, I'm gonna give. So, um. And I encourage everybody watching this to, to do that as well. Again, be patient with the link. It might crash the servers and they'll have it back up. So just keep on checking throughout the next couple of days or whenever, you, you know. So um, in the meantime, GoFundMe is saying <laughs> their excuse saying that this is all because of uh, what? Uh, it was it, it, there was violence and harassment, and they, they had to delete the the, the GoFundMe page for them. Okay, so uh, in case y'all don't remember, uh, in 2020 in Seattle, I think it was Seattle, yeah, Seattle, we had the Chop or the Chaz, right, the Capitol Hill occupied protests or Capitol Hill occupied zone, where a bunch of leftist pro BLM uh, people uh, that wanted to abolish the police in Seattle. Um, basically took over a giant uh, plot of land outside Capitol Hill in Seattle and kicked out the police, wouldn't let any police in, et cetera, et cetera. GoFundMe left their page up. It wasn't banned. They continued getting getting donations throughout the whole entire ordeal of Chop Chaz, which eventually just, just dissolved after like a, a month or two or something. And by the way, as this GoFundMe page continued to be up throughout the weeks that it that, that it was happening, there were there were uh, four shootings, several ar arsons, uh, several sexual assaults, uh, two deaths, um, uh, things being lit on fire, people getting um, uh, all of this stuff. Okay, there were sh four shootings, four shootings. Okay, and they they were kicking police out. They were they were trying to assault police. So these GoFundMe people are ideologues. They would not do the same thing. And we have proof of that if this were a leftist protest, if this were a leftist um, gathering in Ottawa and all of these uh, across the world. But because it's anti-establishment, because it's pro-freedom, because it's against the cathedral, they will shut it down at the drop of a hat. And that's what they've done. 
That's what they've done. So do not trust GoFundMe. They they have a, they have a uh, there's a double standard. They didn't shut down the Chop Chaz GoFundMe when it was a billion times more violent, a billion times, infinite times more violent because there isn't any violence at the Ottawa protest and there isn't any hate. That's all lies. That's all lies. Um, I mean, of course you might have like one guy like do something. I mean, they could always send, you could always have an Antifa guy dress up as one. I mean, like there's always minor exceptions. That's the other thing. It's like, it's like, oh, look at this. I'm sure there's someone can find one guy that was some doing something kind of bad at one time. And it's even arguable whether or not they were even in the protests in, in Ottawa. It's like, sure. But by and large, it's just immensely peaceful. It's not even close to some of these leftist mob violence, insane burning down cities we saw in 2020 with BLM. Now, the Ottawa police has announced that, and don't be scared, don't be afraid of this. Uh, so I, I, I even hesitate to even report on this because this is a scare tactic. This is a scare tactic the Ottawa police is implementing to scare people out of there because there's no way, they, they can't stop this. They can't tow people out. They can't tow Mack trucks and 18-wheelers and tractors, farmer tractors and all this stuff. They can't, you know, tell people they can't beep their horns. They, they can't do that, right? So what they've claimed to be doing is working with spy agencies and intelligence agencies in Canada to gather like uh, vehicle registrations, um, identifications, insurance status of the vehicles there, related evidence, the financial records of, of all the data they can gather. I'm sure they'll probably use fa even facial recognition and all this stuff to uh, prosecute everybody there. I mean, come on, guys. They, they, they even said that any police giving the protesters food in Ottawa or supplying them with any kind of support will be investigated and prosecuted. They're telling this to their own police because the police, there's plenty that agree with the protest. People... Look, if you're a cop out there in Ottawa, you gotta just you gotta just say, "Hey, look, I agree with these people. Sorry," and they're not gonna protest. They're not gonna prosecute you if everybody just stands up. Everybody has to grow a pair and be brave and courageous, and refuse to comply and refuse not to back down and not to be afraid of, of this. Okay, so this is a scare tactic. But they are claiming they're doing this. They they're claiming they're working with spy agencies. Like this is some sort of like ISIS group or something like intelligence agencies and stuff. So this is what we got going on. Uh, I'll give a link uh, in the description box below. I'm going to put it in the comment too to the uh, Give, Send, Go here. You can donate to the Freedom Convoy in this way because they took all the money uh, uh, for the for the GoFundMe. So we got to replenish it here. It's going to happen really quickly. We'll probably get back up to, you know, five, 10 million within a few days or something, as long as the servers don't crash again. If the servers crash, uh, you know, be patient, try again the next day or a couple hours later or even a half hour later. I mean, just do what you can. And um, that's the update. It's just, it's just, I can't even believe it. These elitist snobs, Silicon Valley working with um, the Canadian government to take the working class people's money and 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 give it to their ideological causes L literally just stealing people's money and one more oh i forgot about this hold on i should have said this at the beginning this is pretty big we, we might be able to do something with this it, maybe everybody who donated to the gofundme the original gofundme f don't f fill out the refund form don't get the refund from GoFundMe. File a claim with your credit card company or debit card company, your your bank, that you use to make the payment to GoFundMe and file it as a fraudulent charge. That way GoFundMe has to pay in chargebacks once the, the bank files it as a, as a fraudulent claim through the consumer, through the customer. And then you'll get the money back that way through your credit card company. It might take a little longer, but this is a great way to make sure that uh, GoFundMe gets charged for this. They get 
charge 29 bucks for every chargeback when you file a claim and say that this is what you, what you what they charged you on your credit card to donate to the the freedom convoy it was fraudulent they didn't use those funds like they, they lied to you it was it was false representation so file it as a fraudulent claim through your credit card company and they'll get charged with chargebacks if like a million people do that That'll be $29 million, right? Or $30 million because they have to pay for each chargeback. GoFundMe does. So I don't know if we'll get that many people to do it, but even if it's like a few million dollars that they have to pay in these fees, that could hit them really hard. You know, that could, that I mean, straight up out of pocket like that, that could hit them pretty hard. So let's, that's what we got to do. Don't fill out the refund form through GoFundMe. Uh, file a claim with your credit card company. That's it. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so it gets recommended by YouTube. Um, and then also share it uh, far and wide. Uh, also, you can follow me on uh, BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble as well, and Twitter and Gab. And if you want to contribute to, to the channel here as well, I have a, a, a you know a Patreon um, and crypto addresses as well. But first, please, just give to the, the Trucker Convoy before you give to me, right? at least today, right? Or the next few weeks, let's do that. And then uh, also, if you're not gonna give anything to them or, or me or anybody, just share this video. At least you can do that and get this info out there. It's been press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.